going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a new video guys so we're actually on our way to the shop right now uh, we're gonna be doing the roof wrap on the 335 today so we got the roof wrap down over here we also got a lot of stuff in the back uh, we got my old front bumper back here still so and actually the muffler is still in the back in the trunk so we're gonna go to the shop drop all that stuff off Give the car a wash. I'll show you guys once I get to the shop how dirty the car is. Anyway, let's go ahead, head to the shop right now and put on the roof wrap. All right guys, we made it to the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and start washing my car. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So like right over here, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like really sticky and like hard water spots. Uh, it's just really bad. I'm having a lot of problems with that. So uh, I guess once I wrap the car and ceramic coat it, it should be better. But for now, I guess I'm just gonna have to stick with the washing the car consistently. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead, wash the car, clay bar the roof, and then we're gonna go ahead, wrap the roof. I ended up going with uh, gloss black from Vivid. Vivid's all right. It's not the best brand, but it's also not the worst. Uh, 3M is definitely the best. We order our wrap from Metro Restyling. I get a lot of you guys asking that question. So we get it from Metro Restyling. So I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description to Metro Restyling, their website. They're the most trustworthy ones. Hopefully that answers your guys' questions because I get so many questions about that. Let's go ahead and start washing the car. What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, this is like the second part of this video, I guess. So pretty much some things happened. I wasn't able to wrap the car at the shop. So now we're out here at Norris house and we're just moving out his car right now. A few cars, we're gonna pull in my car and then we're gonna start wrapping the roof. So let's go ahead, move this car out. Let's, uh, let's get a little start up for you guys. I don't think it's that cold. We uh, drove it earlier today. Wow, it's a little bit quiet, but it sounds pretty good. Let's pull this bad boy out. Wait, is he, is he aired out? I don't know. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pull up my car. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Also, guys, today where we are recording in like 109 degree weather, it is so hot out here. I'll listen to the car. Woo, it sounds good. I'm loving this muffler daily, by the way, guys. Definitely recommend it. I spent like maybe 200 $30 altogether because they had to do like a white pipe. So I definitely highly recommend a muffler delete if you guys want some cheap exhaust to make your car sound better. Man, it is scorching hot today. Hot, hot. Oh, it's hot. Bro, it's 109 degrees today. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, literally 108 right now. Look at that, guys. Hold on. 108 degrees out. Bro. Woo, it's hot. You know what else is hot? What? Them grills, bro. Them grills, though. No. What else? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> we got to get rid of those. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got the wrap right over here. Um, I think it went with gloss black. And it is vivid wrap. So, I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. So, I should be fine for the roof. Go ahead, open it up. So right now we're just uh, we're just prepping the uh, car. Uh, we have to take that off. Is it really hard to do that? It's not hard, but when you put a flathead and you try to like, or you try to put anything or enough heat to try to take this off, I scratched the back of my car on the Ooh. 435. No one knows that, but I did. So well, now everybody now who watches my channel, anybody else's car, I'm not gonna let them go through that. Okay, thank you, thank uh, you, hubby. Got you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started on this. Right, guys so i i think i got five by five i think that's what i went with five by five wow. yeah clearly it wasn't the right decision because it's barely gonna be enough hopefully once like all four sides are stretched it should be able to pull enough so if you are gonna do this specifically on on your f30 or something like that just get five by six because it's looking like this is gonna be a little bit tougher to do it like this i mean it's still gonna be enough it's just we're gonna have to stretch it a little bit i feel like so it's kind of like not ideal go ahead and get five by six uh feet instead of five by five feet just heat it up a little bit on the sides to get the uh tape a little bit like warm it should already be pretty warm because it was sitting out in the sun it should be fine, but just a little bit extra. All 
All right, guys, so we got off the, uh, the antenna piece. So the next part is to go ahead, take off the tape, and then once we take off the tape, we're gonna go ahead and clay bar the car. And then once the car is clay barred, uh, you definitely wanna clay bar the car because it gets out like all the actual dirt that you can't see and like all the imperfections. So definitely clay bar your car if you're gonna wrap it at all. Um, so we're gonna do that after we do that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put on the wraps. Do we have to take off the antenna piece? All right, so we also take off that piece, and then after we take that off, then we put on the wrap. All right, guys, so now that we got all the pieces off of the roof, so we got the side pieces off on both sides, we got the antenna off, and then we go ahead and open up the sunroof. Once the sunroof is open, we can go ahead and start clay barring. So let's go ahead and start doing that. All right guys, so we just finished clay barring the car. You're not really gonna be able to see results, but if you look on the clay bar itself, it should be a little bit dirty. If it's a little bit dirty, that means you did grab some dirt off. Um, anyway, right now we are getting the wrap ready to put on. Go ahead, take this off. I thought I got vivid, but it turns out it's 3M, so that's pretty cool. All right guys, so we got it mostly done. It came out really good actually. I really think the clay bar helped a lot. Obviously it would help. As you can see right here, we got it all tucked in underneath. It's gonna be really hard to see the paint underneath as in like on the sides right here. Uh, if you look close enough, you will see it, but that's pretty much expected. Other than that though, nothing crazy. Yeah, it just came out really good. Like down here even, uh, we tucked it in under here as best as we could. Like it's already coming up actually, so that's not good. But for the most part, you wanna try to get it flat right over here so that it doesn't pick it up. Anyway, right now we are gonna start wrapping the fin and then the sides, the like trim pieces on the side that go over here. We're gonna start wrapping that, that's kind of a pain, but for the most part, we're, we are almost done. The roof part is done, we just need to do the trim piece and the fin. So we got this one done, Nor helped me with this at the end. It's pretty Plastic. bad, but it's. I think it's when we bad. tuck it in, it, all this is gonna be covered up. I hope so. Hope. Honestly, it's not noticeable. Yeah, oh, it, it looks really good, good, actually. And then Diaz is helping us over here. It's almost done with this one, and then we're gonna go ahead and put on that one. All right, guys, second piece is in. Just gotta push it down, right? I'll right, let you do that. Cool. Perfect. That came out a lot better. Shout out to Dia. Yeah, Dia did a really good job, so shout out to Dia. All right guys, so this is how it's looking right now. Oh my goodness, it looks so much better. With a black roof, it just makes it look way more aggressive. This wasn't really a tutorial, but kind of some tips and tricks on how to wrap your roof. So I think it came out great. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But I think right now we're gonna go do a photo shoot, a quick like photo shoot with like roller shots. And by the way guys, if you want a photo shoot, hit me up, Sacramento area. DM me on Instagram if you guys want a photo shoot. Go ahead, do the photo shoot real quick and then I'll catch up with you guys later.